When I tell you I love to cook and clean, just, just don't tell the feminists. I love to do it, and I love to do it for a man. I do. However, not outside of marriage. Absolutely not. That sounds like hell. But just to see the look on a man's face when you cook him a meal that is so good, you can just tell he's proud. You know what I mean? She's a little inexper in, in, inexperienced. Inexperienced. You know what I mean? Holding that, that kitchen knife. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The cutlery. She was scaring me. I thought she was going to like stab me through the daggone screen. Yeah, but now let me let me ask you something. How yep. old were you when you first start cooking for a oh man? Oh my gosh! Oh, for a man? Well, it wasn't for a woman, was you? <laughs> well, no, shit. I thought you was about to say cooking in general. <laughs> like I started cooking at maybe like fourteen, <laughs> maybe <Damn>. thirteen. <laughs> you weren't cooking. You weren't cooking for a man when you was thirteen or fourteen. No, I was cooking for myself. Caliente. Yeah. <laughs> Muy caliente. Muy caliente. <laughs> so shall we slide to the first video? Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Oh, I forgot to do the intro. Oh, I got I got oh, I got yeah. my I got my clicker right here. Got my little clicker right here. Let's start off, man. Welcome to Disjoint Podcast. As you do, we got a great show for y'all tonight. We want y'all to sit back, enjoy the show. We got y'all for one full hour. Now, man. Make sure have your popcorn. Watch some videos with us. And sit your five dollar ass down before we make change. And if you get up, take that phone or tablet with you. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, right. This is that first video. She explains why she'd rather be a housewife <laughs> than rather get a job. Come on, mama. And yeah, little mama talking that. She talking that yang. I like that. I like that. Let me wait, 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 peanut that. Yeah. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. Not gonna lie, don't tell the feminists, but I would rather stay home and cook. When I tell you I love to cook and clean, just just tell the feminists. I love to do it, and I love to do it for a man. I do. However, not outside of marriage. Absolutely not. That sounds like hell. But just to see the look on a man's face when you cook him a meal that is so good, you can just tell he's proud. There's just something, I don't know, there's something within me as a woman. Maybe it's almost turning 25. They got me thinking, like, this cooking and cleaning thing isn't bad. Like, I just don't understand why women wanted to work. Man that provides for you, you don't have to worry about anything, no bills. I will cook and clean all day. Like, what is the complaint? I'm making some fire food tonight. I'm going to serve it. And I'm just enjoying it. Yes, I'm crying over some onions. But is this what we fought for as women? I'd rather cry over some onions. They cry about it. Uh, yeah. First of all, she didn't look comfortable with that knife. Because she was only she only 25. You know what I mean? She's a little exper in, in, inexperienced. Inexperienced. You know what I mean? Holding that, that kitchen knife. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The cutlery. She was scaring me. I thought she was going to like stab me through the daggone screen. Yeah. But now, let me, let me ask you something. How yep. old were you when you first started cooking for a man? Oh, my gosh. Oh, for a man? Well, you wasn't for a woman, was you? <laughs> well, no, shit. I thought you was about to say cooking in general. Like, I started cooking at maybe like 14, <laughs> maybe <Damn>. 13. <laughs> you weren't cooking cook for a man when you was 13 or 14. No, I was cooking for myself. Okay. Another yes. story for another party. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I started cooking for a man, shall I say, man, I gotta think about that. Who was the first? Maybe like in my 20s. In your 20s? In my 20s, yeah, yeah. Like the first guy that I was like really serious with. Yep. I'm not going to say no names on here, but yep. Mm hmm. That boy, we'll find out later. But <laughs> in, <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> hey, listen, let me tell you something, man. There is nothing like, you know, I me mean, coming home and, and, and your woman making a hot plate. Oh, my God. Man. Yeah, but you know what? So this is my thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the cooking and cleaning. I do it all the time in general. However, mm -hmm. I can't be the type of person to just sit home and just do that. There's nothing wrong with me elevating myself in my lifestyle and cooking clean. Because knowing me, the type of person that I am, I'm meticulous. I'm a clean every day, all day anyway. So the minute I see something, I'm cleaning. So that's just me. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. okay. So, okay. you know, the cooking part is like, okay, depend, depending on the person, everybody's taste is different. So, you know, I got to get to learn your taste and what you like. Because everybody is different. So, like, the way I eat might be different from the way you eat. So, I'll okay. eventually, over time, learn how you like your things. But sometimes it's not always just about the cooking and cleaning. 
for some men is different. Some men actually get satisfaction from other things and not necessarily cooking and cleaning. So let's just say perfect example. Um, CJ said before, like his top three things, if that's not on a person's top three things, cooking and cleaning is not of importance. So it really depends. Okay. All right. All right what about you, bro? Listen. Uh-oh. Yeah, here Young go. ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Old ladies. Middle aged ladies. When it comes to cooking or cleaning or whatever, we like that. Our yeah. mamas cooked and cleaned for us. So we like the feeling of coming home to a nice, clean house and some good food. Some people, some men, they might want it five days a week. Some men just like when it's just consistently done. No mm. special amount of days or whatever. So all in all, like Nike, just do it. <laughs> man, listen, this, this taking me back to my days, man, when I used to live with, 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 with I won't say this female name. Oh, my God. She used to love cooking. Boy, let me tell you something, man. I, I'm going to tell y'all what ladies this, man. You want to keep a man home? Tell that motherfucker you got dinner waiting on him. Oh, my God. Yo, bro, man, we're going to First the bar, all, man. Oh, nah, not, I'm good, bro. L let her be able, let her have the ability and know how to cook, first of all. Listen. Because if she can't yeah. cook and she's saying, oh, yeah, I got dinner but, for you and this burnt chicken. But you know, <laughs> that, yeah, that's, the, that's, the, yeah, that's, the, that's the entry, the point but, entry. But yeah, if you can at least make a taco salad. Hey, come on. Come on, listen. I'm easy to please. Just give me some Dungeons. <laughs> Throw Hold some, up, throw, throw some old bay on there, Hold with garlic and butter. You ain't gotta do nothing. Listen, a little bit Dungeons. A little Dungeons. I'm, I'm easy to please. Can't I can't? Buffalo Wild Wings, not the night. What I run into all the time, mm -hmm. like a lot of women my age, because you know I am the of the older generation. You know, the stature. Mm -hmm. A lot of women I run, they be like, no, I ain't cooking no more. Huh? No, I'm, I, I did that. I'm, I'm like, yo, you'll never find a man. Okay. Because I don't care how old you are or how old that man is, a, a man still like to come home and cook. Nah. They be like, ah, oh, no, I ain't cooking no more. No, no, my kids Look, are grown. Look, I like this guy. I ain't cooking no more. He's really, right? And actually, he did not want me to cook nothing. Word? He Hold would, on, wait a minute. Did he, he know how to cook? Yes, he did. So, all right, well, that's in, cool. In that instance, it's different. So, like, for me, it's like, if he's the cook, if he's the chef or whatever, then I'm pretty sure there's something, like, again, that's on top on his list. So, if cooking and cleaning is not his thing, whatever his next thing is, he might want you to meet him at the door butt naked. <laughs> I got my nice, long, that's black it. leather coat. That might be the first time. <laughs> yeah. With the nothing underneath. And, and, and now you getting your, um, oh. you know, your, your, your shrimp scampi, yeah. your, your fettuccine oh. alfredos or whatever, oh. y'all. Hey. Old titty bowls over there coming out. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'll make sure not to ever wear that black trench coat here. <laughs> so my thing is, listen, at the end of the day, whatever your thing is, is your thing. You just... Just pay oh, attention yeah. to your man, like and pay uh, attention to your woman. No, nope. See, see how y'all moving the book. <laughs> it's about us, right? Let's take that go. Let's it's take that go, bro. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> we don't get too many moments as soon as I'm on. What? What? We don't get too many moments as soon as about. Well, what about us? It ain't about y'all right now. It's about us. And all we saying is, hey. First of all, you don't think that moments. us women pay more attention to y'all men than y'all men pay well. attention to now, us? Now, 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 let me Hell now, no. Now, man, would you would you want a man to cook for you all the time? I wouldn't say all the time, no, because I'm I'm naturally like, you know, I've been told that I'm like old schoolish. Yeah. So yeah. I know that I the generation that I have been born into, I have kind of sort of what is considered an old soul. So I cook now. I still cook and my kids are older, so nobody like really eats anything but me. So Hey CJ, we crashing our credit. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, man. You're paying some Sunday rent. dinner. Right, right. You're paying some rent. <laughs> Sunday dinner at Titty Moves. <laughs> <laughs> titty Moves. Look, you're the name. you the name my house. Oh, <laughs> Sunday dinner at Honey Dip honey Habanero. Dip. Listen. Now, honey I mean, if your kids ain't sauce. Eat, if, you, if your kids ain't eating, let me get one of their phone numbers. <laughs> uh, text me when your mom make that plate. I'm come slide right by. <laughs> Just act like you ate. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm about to go pick it up. Right. <laughs> Yeah, mama ate that food, yo. <laughs> she sure did. That's right. This joint podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like, comment, Tell us what subscribe. you think. God,